Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from beautiful Corona, California. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you all. Let's invite people from the other side right here and have him join us on this Friday evening. Friday, Friday already. Man, the weekend is going coming faster than normal just been i just it was monday yesterday wasn't it columbus day yesterday and today's friday just time is flying we're already mid almost end of october you know 2021 will be almost done in two months hey i'm a grouch today i can't be doing that how are you? Let's see who is joining us. Sarah, of course, Sarah Voss, how are you? Come on in, everyone. The door is open. Becky Ottenberry, how are you? Amy from Highland. Guys, Amy drove two and a half hours to come to my show yesterday. That is amazing. I appreciated that. And uh, it was wonderful. She was laughing harder than anybody in the audience. So I knew she, it was well worth it for her. And her husband, it was good to see them. Also, what do you call it? Uh, I mean, this could be a record, but my record is eight hours. Some people drove eight hours to see me. So that makes me so humble. So Amy, thank you so much for coming to the show and doing that. Let's see who else is here. Dolores, hello, Dolores. And we got Debbie. The, th the three musketeers are here. Becky, Debbie, and Dolores. And Naz is playing hide and seek. Oh, wait, don't tell me. Can you? <gasps> Are you serious? You can't see me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on? Hold on. Hold on. This is live. Why am I not? No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm not playing hide and seek, somebody. Wait, can you see me, people? What's up, y'all? Hello, Dave. Hello, Bobby. How come you guys, Bobby Bobby, and Dave Ebert are here? It's going to be a fun night. Alan Goodwin, how are you? Thank God it's Friday. Bobby Miller, how you doing? Your nose deep in Corona. I know. How was your show, Naz? It was good. Can you guys see me? I just want to make sure you can see me. Okay, because everything is working here. How was my show yesterday? Well, it was two things. One event was dinner for pastors in San Diego. And that went great. I didn't do a lot of material. And, and then the second one was open to the audience and to listeners. And all the pastors... Almost all the pastors that were in the first event that should have came to the second went to see the Dodgers game. Dodgers and Giants playing. So, a lot of them. So, the first, like, 200 seats were reserved for pastors. It says reserved. So, the audience have to list, list, sit behind that. And it wasn't a huge audience. It was a huge auditorium, but it wasn't a big audience. I don't know what happened. Thursday night, I don't know. But all I know is I got there. Okay, I got there and I normally bring a road manager with me or someone assistant that helped me with the product table and all that. Well, I went by myself. I got there probably right in time when they started the first dinner. But I had like 45 minutes before I speak. But there were a lot of vendors in there. And my table, uh, so I set up my table. I have a lot of great Christmas stuff from uh, Bethlehem and uh, Jerusalem that I brought with me from uh, when I was there. And, I, and you know, I ordered it from there. Olive wood stuff, really nice stuff. So I was setting it all up, crosses and everything, setting up my books, setting up my DVDs. And this guy comes to me. And... <laughs> This is funny. He 
he introduced he's wearing a suit and a hat a suit and a hat don't go together you're wearing a suit but you don't put a hat a cap on it so anyway so he goes i'm an evangelist um healer i'm like what do you mean he goes i pray for people and then before i even say anything he grabs me puts his hand on my stomach and starts praying in tongues i'm already uncomfortable I don't know if who he is. I don't know if I, I'm still, I, I don't know. I grew up Southern Baptist in Calvary. So he's playing and Shana, Shana, I have nothing. I, I love, I mean, great, great, great friends and pastors who are Pentecostal, but it wasn't that. The guy was praying and he's like, Lord, thank you that Nazareth's uh, urinary tract cancer is gone. And then he starts shaking me like wants me to fall or something. And he's like, thank you, Lord, it's gone. And I'm going, I'm thinking, I don't have urinary tract infection. I don't have urinary tract cancer. And, well, if I did, it's gone now. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. And then he says, amen. And he grabs one of my big crosses, the $20 one. He goes, that's for the prayer. And he goes. I'm like, the guy could have prayed for my ovarian cancer to be gone. I mean, <laughs> I did not believe the guy from point one. I didn't ask him to pray for me. I don't have urinary tract cancer. I don't think I do. Now I'm concerned about it. But even if I'm concerned, I think it's gone. <laughs> if he was a real guy, I gave a cross for it. So, hey, I don't know. This is weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me see. Let me read your comment. All right, let's see. Hey, Naz from Leaves, Falling, Wisconsin. Yep. I uh, thank you. Welcome, Matthew. Naz is now John Cena. Naz, I can see. <laughs> okay, Peekaboo, you were just a bit delayed in showing up. Oh, okay. Why well, couldn't see you in the very beginning? A lot more prayer. Remember, Matthew 5, blessed are those, the peacemaker, for they shall see Naz. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we see your big brain. Thank you. You're welcome. Nobody ever commented on my big brain ever. <laughs> I'm not giving them enough reasons to. All right, let's see. The three Hebrew sisters. This is where a couple of friends call us. <laughs> okay, you can even see into your brains. Thank you so much, Randy. ID, welcome. It's been a long time. Welcome back, Randy. All right, Amy said, traffic was so bad last night on the 15th freeway from San Diego. My map request requested us to get off the freeway and get back on the freeway towards the 79 to the 5 to the 90. Ouch. Philip stay on the 15th and we made it home by 11.30, not after midnight. Yeah, because I got stuck on the traffic. They were on the 15 North by Temecula. They closed it into one lane. Yeah, it was horrible. But I made it home and when I got home, right before I get home, Maha calls me. She goes, don't come home. Meet us at the emergency room. I go, what? Who's, who's turn now? She goes, Delilah. It's a, a bee stung her on the on the face it got swollen it was a little swollen earlier but then it got really swollen and she was throwing up and all that so we were at the uh, emergency room till 1 30 in the morning that explains the red eyes here but uh, she's okay they gave her some uh, what do you call it benadryl shots and steroids and she's fine and we'll be sitting our neighbors two dogs so it's crazy but anyway Hello, hello, hello. Let's see who else is coming. Only the beginning that we couldn't see you, Naz. All right, perfect. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Rita, Rita. What's up with those baseball fans? I'm sure your show was better. I think it was, but the Dodgers won, so I can't say much. It was a great show, Naz. Everyone missed it. Thank you, Amy, for taking the time. Oh, no, no. Touch you without asking Mr. Healer, man. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Just grabbed me from like my under my stomach. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, I mean, he could have prayed for ovarian cancer and then I would have known for sure he was lying. But Jane, good to see you again. All right, let's see. 
Frank is here. Hello, Frank. Oh, great. My mom is here. Is that considered spiritual rape? I think it's very close. <laughs> I know. That guy was totally ripping you off, Nazis. I know. I know he was. He looked like, he looked creepy. He looked creepy. I'm sorry if he's watching. I'm sorry. I don't know where you're at with the Lord. You, you are, but that was creepy. That was just creepy. It's <laughs> something like that. Weird. Uh, he stole that cross. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> Hi, Jane Seymour. Welcome back. Are you back in Wisconsin or you're still in Florida? Just ask for free products. Yeah, I know. He could have asked. I would have gave it to him. Naz, your mom must be sending you lots of love. She sent you three hearts now. I think she. my mom pushes once. If it doesn't hear, uh, get anything right away, she puts it twice, three times. And, and then the, I really, I have to admire her iPad. Mom, your iPad has really been through a lot. It's a brand new one. I mean, it's, but it just, the the way you push on it, and you know every push takes a transaction. It's not like the iPad go, oh, I should ignore the other thing. Now she wants this. But it's okay. Mom is wonderful. Naz, your mom, <laughs> did John get home okay? Yes. I didn't see him till this morning. We spent an hour together. He bought us a lot of stuff from Morocco, really nice stuff. And... Um, for his mom and his sisters and I got a couple of like those Moroccan slippers that go like turn up I don't know uh, it was good it's good to catch up with him he's doing good praise God the guy to interpret my jokes <laughs> mm, let's see he probably heard President Clinton was in the hospital with a UTI <laughs> that went septic I can't see I would get them mixed up. <laughs> that is so funny, Becky. That is funny. I hope Delilah's doing okay. She's doing okay now. Yes, I do. I need a hug. It was the uh, vitamins that cured you, Ness. <laughs> you deserve it, Rita. You deserve it. Oh, you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I should have sold vitamins to that <laughs> healing guy. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you're healed now. He goes, sorry. The I'm sending my cross to the <laughs> professional botanicals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what healed my whatever that was. <laughs> no, don't think the Dodger. I won't. Is that guy the creepy? <laughs> He probably him. Oh no! Oh no! I, he came in really and just took his his what do you call it? Uh, his royalties for for us playing his laugh. He should have had the guy cure Facebook tech problem. <laughs> you're on. There, there are real people God used to heal. Oh, I believe that Sarah, but not that guy. <laughs> He's giving it a bad name. You're right. I truly believe in true healing. Is it 8.45? It's 8.46. Let's hydrate and share. I was drinking some Turkish coffee, people. Uh, hydrate and share. I'm sorry, we're still not into the show yet. We haven't started yet. Ah. Well, I wrote a joke that worked very well. I said, uh, I said early this morning, I heard noises downstairs. I'm glad I was home. And, you know, I heard noises, so I pulled my fake gun because I live in California. And I look out of my room or into downstairs, and there were two guys, two burglars in black outfits with a mask on. They're inside my house. They opened the window and came into my house. And I screamed at him. I said, hey, are you vaccinated? And they go, yes. I go, then you don't need your mask. We're Christians. <laughs> And that was a stupid joke. I wrote it on the way there, on the car, and people laughed hard at it. Hey, you never know. So, <laughs> your toilet paper came in handy the way home too. Oh, no. Philip had a nosebleed. Oh, that explains it. 
Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm glad it was for a new nosebleed. Yeah. Voting early and often in Chicago. It's an art. Yeah. Where's art tonight? Hey, it's art. <laughs> I thought that was that was Dave Ebert or someone from Chicago. Been drinking lemon water and Gatorade and water and not eating much today. I'm doing better. Good for you, Amy. Good for you. Those vitamins also cure Nether's <laughs> ovarian issues. Yep. Javier is here. Hello, Javier. Welcome. Okay, let's see how many. 82 people are watching. All right. Uh, all right. Let's see who else. You should have had a guy to your Facebook. That was funny. Okay. Oh, he was the wolf and the she in sheep's clothing. I don't think it was sheep clothing. It was really expensive <laughs> suit. He probably prayed for the guy that owned <laughs> from, you know, the guy that says the men's warehouse, you're going to look good. I guarantee it. <laughs> he prayed for them because <laughs> that guy probably had breast cancer or something. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, I really love this story time with Ned. Made me laugh. Last night was all story time, people. <laughs> ah, you've heard noises in your head downstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you took your best shot at the joke. Oh, Nancy's jokes are like a Prince song. I was dreaming when I wrote this. Forgive me if it goes astray. Uh, yes, I remember that song. Oh, hi, Catherine. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Randall, how are you, Randall? How am I doing? Right now, I'm doing great. We're laughing. I'm almost, you guys almost broke me. Thank you, Rita and everybody else. I am laughing. I'm having fun. I'm healed. <laughs> Delilah's healed. I should have brought him home and had him pray for Delilah instead of paying 200 bucks yesterday at the emergency pizza. That would have been worth the cross, $20, $20 cross. But hey, oh, I wonder where I got the suit. I told you, the men's warehouse. Oh, a smoker would say, forgive me if it goes astray. <laughs> Strange things happen to Naz where he's on the road. Oh, I, I can share stories with you guys. But the story time is over for the night. Hi, Sarah, folks, faith healer. <laughs> and vitamin takers everywhere. Hello, people. He was wearing either a Gucci or Ralph Lauren men's suit. Yep. <laughs> Naz, I'm healed. Praise God. You need to, to come to Green Bay. Oh, yeah. Talk to Gungar. Talk to Mark. Said you need to. Every time I talk to Gungar, man, I would love to have you, Naz. Man, I would love to have you. And then it doesn't happen. We're friends. We're good friends. I mean, he always gives me the week where I can't. So I'm like, hey, I'm available this week to come to Green Bay. I was like, oh, can you come the week before? I go, no, I can't. I have shows. This is the week I can come to. He goes, oh, I can't. I go, okay. You hydrated and shared these bad guys in your house. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm killing myself. <laughs> All right. Last, um, last Wednesday, when we asked you the question, how do you train your brain on National Train Your Brain Day? It was Tuesday, National Train Brain Day, Your Brain Day. And how do you train your brain? This is what you guys came up with. Number 20, keep changing the TV channels and string all the shows together into one. Number 19, go through my files in my brain. Number 18, copy your kids. Number 17, just keep eating brain food, whatever that is. Number 16, get out the Legos and the Lincoln Logs. Number 15, with a hamster running on his wheel. Number 14, with a whip and a chair. Number 13, with training wheels. Number 12, I think about Taibo. Taibo. <laughs> Number 11, imitate the goldfish. Everything is brand new every 30 seconds. 
Number 10, go to obedience school with the puppy. Number 9, just connect to some jumper cables and a battery and charge yourself up. Number 8, how do you train your brain? By telling your brain you will get treats if you do what you told. Number 7, I pay my imaginary friend to do the training. Number 6, I spell check my cereal. I eat Cheerios. <laughs> Number 5, shock therapy. Number 4, Merrillax. That's how you train your brain. You take Merrillax. Number 3, I lay my head on a treadmill. Number 2, I type with my toes. And the number 1... How do you train your brain? I play true or false with CNN headlines. Good job, guys. And now we're getting into the first question of the night. I'm sorry. We were... Uh, <laughs> I made it to top 20, Michael Romero. Where's Michael? Is he here? Nas, comedian, faith healer, and, <laughs> and burglar deterrent system. That's exactly me this week. Oh, I got a couple on the list. Yeah. You take your brain out of the, to the park and you put it in the gear. Brain calisthenics, brain push-ups, brain boot camp, etc. Okay, I like my, it's called shock therapy, right? Jump to conclusions, that's the way to turn it. Those crosses on your table are beautiful. I would have hollered thief to go, <laughs> got my cross back. I can't get past the fact. You know what? I'm going to make them available to you guys in the next week. Uh, I got some nice... What do you call them? Uh, they're all olive wood from Bethlehem and they're nativity scenes and uh, what do you call ornaments? So you can get your Christmas shopping and also send them to your friends, uh, you know, as Christmas gifts to those who you don't know what to get. And you'll be helping the ministry. I'm number one. Yes. Yeah, you did. I had three on the top three. Big week for me. <laughs> In, uh, new bring food frosted flakes. Congrats. I know. All right, people. This is the question. Today is national, national grouch day. Today is national grouch day. As per Merriam Webster dictionary, a grouch is described as a person who complains frequently or constantly. Do you know someone like that? A person who complains frequently and constantly, a habitually irritable or complaining person. So, let's assume, I know this show is positive and we all positive, so let's be funny. If you were a grouch, what would you complain about today? So, if you were a grouch, what would you complain about today? I mean, uh, it doesn't have to be today, but like anything that's going on. If you're a grouch, what would you complain about today? And now we're not grouches. We're positive people. We're upbeat. So let me see what you got. Michael jumped on the Metro link and left. <laughs> my ex-wife has a holiday. <laughs> I love my olive wood nativity ornaments. I collect them every year. Wow. Just told me here's a church right now. I guess that's okay. We can accept that excuse. Oh, he's at church. That's good. That's a good reason. National Grouch Day. Yeah. Someone needs to steal a cross. They really need it. May Jesus truly get it. I mean, if you want to steal it or take it and leave with it, that's fine. But to do it that way and you say, I get my cross now for, <laughs> for praying. Put a brain in a pickle jar with water and put it in your fridge. Scare someone when they open it. Oh, not my own brain. If you were a grouch, what would you complain about? I'm just grumpy. I don't care. <laughs> As a grouch, I would complain about my couch. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> oh, it was, it was Dave and Bobby. They're married. Shame on you. I would complain about grouchy people. Yep. I'm down to my last Marie Calisatin pie. That would be complaining. Yeah. The Kermajons get such a bad rip. The the Kermajons. What is the Kermajon? Oh, is it the complainers? Is that the grouches? I plead the fifth on the fact I know too many people. That was Marie Callender's 
Satin pie, not Satan pie, Satin pie. Yeah, Marie Callender. That <laughs> that guy'll probably hook that across. Hawk that right. My husband say it's his day today of grouch day. <laughs> Happy Friday. Okay. He probably took it and sold it. Hopefully Jesus convicts him as you say and he really finds God. <laughs> I know. I'm okay with it. Trust me, I have no problem whatsoever. I've given free stuff before. It doesn't at all doesn't bother me. But every show I give. But man, the grouch was the lady that was helping me. Oh, the minute she put the stuff out, she goes, oh, you want me to do this? I said, are you my volunteer for tonight? She goes, yeah. You're okay. And then so I went in there, did my first show, come out. And she's already packing my stuff. I go, what are you doing? She goes, uh, we're done. I go, no, no, no. I just finished my show. Pastor Paul is done. And then the people who are going to come out, they're going to buy stuff. I sold like $300 after that. She's like, oh, I sold you two items. I'm very, that's it. You did good today. <laughs> okay. I didn't know it was the next day was going to be grouch day. Okay. He probably two. Okay, let's see. The Sesame Street paints homeless people as grouches. Oh, I didn't know that. How the bus was late taking my brother home today. I was a grouch all day. We had to go to the funeral home to sign a paper. Oh, I'm a grouch when I get woken up early. People always saying, have a good day. What's so good about it? We're one day closer to the grave. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's right. We're allowed to be grouches today just for the show. How dare you? <laughs> that Jeff Denham puppet Walters is our president. <laughs> Let's go heal that guy. <laughs> getting grumpy over getting poked and prodded and tested. Lord, take my carpal tunnel away. All right. You can be a grouch today. Frank. Leave Captain Kirk out there in space. <laughs> I would complain that I had to wake up. Oh, wait, I do that every day anyway. I honestly thought they had named him after my grandfather, Oscar, as a kid. Oh, yeah, Oscar, yeah, Jeff uh, Denham's guy. Dummy. It's actually prefer Walter. Wow. What a sales lady, not, <laughs> yep, she wasn't. It's okay, Naz, we all end up venting about the grouches later, right? I have some beautiful olive wood statue and nativity from Bethlehem and Jerusalem, yep. Those are the same things that we have, bring with me. The varied color grain of the wood is amazing. The Palestinian crafters are so talented and skilled. They are, I get them from Bethlehem, from these carpenters, and... Um, what do you call it? Olive wood changes color as you, uh, you know, as it ages. So the whole different colors of the wood is amazing. All right, let's see. Amy, Amy, TSA, who wouldn't be a grouch about it, right? I would complain about long lines in the store, on my face, and hearing them on first dates. You know what? I... When people just are in front of you and they decide to be to go slow or drive slow and just and you know you can't go around them or there's no way you can go around them it's too crowded and they slow down and you stop sometimes at the airport they do that everybody's running to their gate their connection and some people just slow up slowly and they're talking and then they stop like there's no one behind them and you almost hit them Okay, that's when I'm grouchy. That my cat just polluted the whole house from the letterbox. Ouch. <laughs> from the Middle East Catholics as the Chris Kringle Market. Oh, from the Middle Eastern Catholics at the Chris Kringle Market. Oh, where's the Chris Kringle Market? That I'm still single and I can't figure out why. We can either. God's timing. Philip is a big grouchy guy. <laughs> He's nice. From the earth to the cross. My debt to pay. 
From the grass to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I live your name on high. Amen. <laughs> well, my cross is gone. <laughs> I wanted to carry my cross. Somehow, <laughs> some guy took my pain away <laughs> and took my cross. <laughs> I can't carry my cross. But then, hey, by, by his stripes, I was healed. <laughs> so I, <laughs> city is suddenly lowering the speed limit without... Consent, right, we need consent, or fail to obey highway laws. Oh no, let's see. City suddenly lowering the speed limit without consent makes the slow drivers even slower, right? Not enough great popsicles in a box and too many orange ones. I feel your pain, Debbie. Get crossy with the people on the road who have no manners or fail to obey highway Yes. Never having enough chocolate. Oh, I get crouchy. Let's see. Is it nine? Oh, nine or four? We have to hydrate people. We have seventy-seven people right now on a Friday night. Normally, well, we're between normal. It's been about eighty to ninety something. So that's good. So if I asked you to share, I'd expect more than 11 shares, but I'm not going to be grumpy about it or grouchy about it. Okay, I never have enough chocolate. I get grouchy when people are texting and not paying attention while driving. You're right. You're right. My dog Binge is grouchy when I leave uh, our home. Rocky, our old dog, used to just destroy his food, just take his plate and just dump it all over when we are gone. This one, this devil we have, Delilah, I, I, I don't think we can leave her alone. We'll be back. <laughs> we won't be back. I don't think, well, I don't know what would happen to the house. I would complain you have stopped a blender many times to blend. Naz, yes, that guy just took the cross you had to bear, yes. <laughs> okay, just making stuff up. I would be grouchy if someone hit the charger to my phone. And my daughters too, right? Candy corn. You know, it's you know what bothers me sometimes. Let me be grouchy too. When my kids take my phone charger, and they take it because they left theirs somewhere else, and I get upset. I go, listen, guys, this phone is the only income in this house. If this baby doesn't ring, there's no shows. If there's no shows, there's no money. So this phone has to be charged all the time. Dad, stop making us feel guilty. No, just give me the charger back. Get me my charger. When I'm done, I get my fill. I'll give it to you. Dad, that's not what parents do. Parents would starve and they feed their kids first. That's what people do. So let us... Fill our char phone chargers first, and then you can find. You're an adult. You can go without a charge for a while. I go, no. When you get on an airplane, they said, put your mask on first, then put the mask on your child. And that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm going to put the charger on my phone first, and then I'll put it on your charger. That's what happened. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in one of those moods tonight. The market is in Illinois during holiday season. There's a vendor. There was handcraft from olive oil from Jerusalem. There are Catholics from the Middle East. Yep. Poor Golan. Yes, someone lifted Naz's cross and maybe they were high. <laughs> Michael Ramirez is here. Hello, Michael. I am driving home from Calvary Chapel, Golden Springs. Yes, yes. Pastor Ronald Leeds. Next time you see him, tell him, hey, you owe Naz a phone call. Hydrate people and share them. All right. I'm listening while driving. All right. Be careful. Don't text and drive. Follow the, the, tech, the rules, the laws of the freeway. And don't be too slow because it's National Grouch Day. And we already complained about all of that. I would complain that going 120 miles is illegal knowing that some cars go up to that speed. I know. I know, too, good. To, you know, you get these people racing those, those young, you know, I don't know if they're young. Yeah, probably they're a younger kid. And they're speeding, and they're going like 120 miles in between the cars. 
And, you know, you feel sorry for the family that's going to get hurt by them. If they only hurt themselves, for me it's fine. But Maha starts praying for them. But it's just so crazy. Okay, National Grouch Day, we can do that. It's when I collect my olive wood nativity ornaments from. All right, time to hydrate and share. I've grou I'm grouchy that none of my other friends like this show and don't want me to share. Don't share it. They don't deserve it. I know they're your friends, but they don't deserve it. People, I learned a long time ago, if you don't appreciate something, I ain't offering it to you. I get crouchy when people race down the nearby street, especially in the middle of the night. Yeah. Get a dog cam to see Delilah going crazy. <laughs> okay. We have a cam in the house. Oh, a dog cam on the dog to see what she's doing? So what? So I feel miserable and horrible about my stuff and not enjoy where I'm at? No, I'll wait till I get home and see the damage. If Nez's phone dies, there's no more food for you, right? I would complain that purchasing shoes are attached <laughs> to each other. I'm only happy when I have... <laughs> Why, Rita, are you thinking of uh, shop lifting? No, it's not lifting <laughs> because it's shoes. You can't lift them. Walk, <laughs> it's called shop walking. I'm only happy when I have coffee, otherwise I'm grumpy. I I feel your pain. Grouchy over never getting the phone charger back. <laughs> yeah. I would complain that you cannot prepare for an eye exam. <laughs> right. You can memorize the thing, but when they blow that that air in your eye, you can't prepare for that. When they pay the bills, they can get the charger first. Right. I'm going to tell him that. When I survey the wondrous cross, I can't. The guy took it. Um, <laughs> the proctologist's hands were cold. Stop it, Dave. I love summer and a cold front. <laughs> well, this is funny. Those two texts came together. One said the proctologist's hands were cold. And Debbie's coming. I love summer and a cold front just came through with the wind and rain. That must have been Dave's doctor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is bad. This show shouldn't be <laughs> recorded. Ah, it couldn't be live. It's getting dark earlier. Leaves and pine straw all over the yard. Hang on. I'm thinking of some more. <laughs> You're doing good. Stay on that trail, I mean path. <laughs> but that's a nice, man, you have a nice home. By the way, the Chargers used to be in San Diego. Oh, yeah. No, it was the Dodgers. Oh, the Chargers. Oh, I, I get it. Even when they pay the bills, they can get the Charger first. Yeah, they were in San Diego, right? Now. Nez, buy a portable battery for your phone and buy 10 extra charging codes. You'll be in great shape. I do, and they're gone. Oh, the wonderful cross. <laughs> I didn't know. You know, maybe this guy, that's why this guy took the cross, so you guys can be doing hymns the next night at my show. <laughs> that's the last straw. <laughs> Grouchy can win the lottery. When everything suddenly become pumpkin spice. Oh, you're in a happy mood tonight. Yes, I am. If only I could be a rich grouch. I would complain that most gas is made up of 10% ethanol. I'm not a child of the corn. Oh, that's right. Ethanol comes from corn. Watch my church on Sunday on Facebook about Pastor Lee Cook's trip to the Middle East. He's going to about the trip, all right? I'm grouchy when I get an ouchie. Yep, they don't deserve this show. Right. Do you think, full, you're not in Germany on the Autobahn? Top, yes. Top speed can hit 210 miles on a... Yes, I drove on the Autobahn in Germany. I didn't drive. I was in a car. And you see the cars just coming, you know, Mercedes and BMWs and like... Now you're wondering why they're good cars. They make good cars. So you can go 210 miles an hour and not 
you know, kill everybody else. <laughs> Extra charge and cords are a good idea. Just me and I have three. <laughs> I need my coffee too or I get grouchy too. Grouchy with Nas. <laughs> oh, no. I would complain that companies instantly credit your money. But you want a refund. Oh, they're as cold and as long as the mother-in-law's kiss. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that's you have a reason to complain about that. <laughs> that I can't go around slapping people with fish. <laughs> Is that a desire? <laughs> I think, yeah, that hurts when you have a fish and you slap someone. I get grouchy when I studied all night for my urine test and they said I didn't need to. Did you pass? Not the test, the urine. I'm sorry. You should go see Dave's, don't go see Dave's doctor because those prostates are... All right, we need, we need to stop this. I need to stop this. You guys have been so good. I've been the couch and horrible. Okay. A little bit of coffee won't hurt. Maybe that's what it is. I'm drinking espresso coffee at 9.30, almost 9.15. All right, let's see. I would complain that a lot of products state they are improved. Was I lied to in the first place? They do. How can you tell they're improved? Benji gets crazy when I walk by my brother in the kitchen. When we're out of spatulas, out of spatulas, mom would just move to beating us with spoons. <laughs> Grouchy, the daylight is getting shorter. I know, when is daylight saving? Please don't tell me it's the first week of, of November. Please, no. That's my weekend with Tally in New York, and I don't want to lose any hours. Dodgers came from Brooklyn. Chargers came from San Diego. Yep. Gas is more expensive than milk. I know. Isn't that weird? Hmm. It's the same cows that give us milk. They give out ethanol or whatever that is. That's ruining our, you know, our green planet, our causing the... Global warming. It's the cows. The last piece of popcorn is the one that sticks to your teeth. That's that's upsetting. Once then beat me for bleeding on the carpet. <laughs> when the stores keep discontinuing the fabrics. I know. Do you go do you guys have the big what do you call it? What's the name of the big fabrics uh, store? Uh Lane? No, not B what's oh shoot. There's a big fabric store. I forgot the name because I don't shop there. I buy my fabric already, you know, tailored from the stores, department stores. Maybe Ned's grouchy because he used, he couldn't slap that guy in the face with a fish. That's true. I'm going to start taking a fish with me. But by the way, Amy got her toilet paper. <laughs> That lady is stunning at his table. <laughs> That's the one I want to slap first before the guy was. <laughs> oh, she was so grouchy. Oh, but the guy. But then again, today is. She was like a day ahead of her. That's how grouchy she was. <laughs> she was ahead of the National Day of Grouch. <laughs> if you drive 90 miles an hour on the Autobahn and you will get tailgated and hung that. Right. I was in Germany in 84 in the summer. Hey, wow, nice. Get grouchy when people are wearing their mask by themselves in their car. Isn't that funny? Like, who are you worried about infecting? Sounds like Houston. <laughs> I get grouchy when my stomach gets too pouchy. It rhymes. I think it's November 7, the clocks fall back. That's good. Thank you, Sarah. I don't like when the lady's room is not being big enough for someone to get a clue fast. Getting an extra hour of 2021 is like a bonus track of a Yoko Ono album. 
<laughs> We're like Jeff Puppet's peanut when he goes to Starbucks. <laughs> uh, in fall, you gain an hour. Oh, that's right. We're going to gain an hour. Well, I hope it happens that first weekend in November then. Yep, the clocks go back. November 7th. That's it. That's good. November 7th. I'll still be in New York. We're going to get an extra hour. Yeah. Thank you. Hobby Lobby. No, it's not Hobby Lobby. It's uh, not Lane Bryant. There's Lane's Fabric, Elaine's Fabric, some some ladies' fabric, that is called. Nez, you might be grouchy about this. Next daylight saving time change, November 7th, one hour back. Good. No, I'm okay. We get an hour. I like that. I want to spend more time in New York with my girls. Only three days were there. Okay, I get grouchy when I have to drink purge water the night before for a colonoscopy. Oh, yes. Now they have something new, I heard. I heard something new. They're using something new that's less, yeah, less air. All right, speaking of air, it's time to hydrate and share. By the way, normally this show at this time, the show becomes more about food, obviously, <laughs> thanks to Bobby and Dave. And <laughs> we're talking colonoscopies and <laughs> and cold hands and all that. <laughs> Joanne's, Joanne's fabric, that's her, Joanne's fabrics. Well, I am not very much to choose from. It's smaller size store. Oh, they have a big one here, but it's still, I don't know about fabric. I know about material. I ride a lot of material. I have new material, but Joanne's Fabric. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. All right, Joanne's. Daylight saving brings November 7, 2 a.m. You actually gain an hour. Yes, thank you, Beverly. Grouchy, that grouchy volunteers can't be slapped without going to jail for doing it. Rhonda, Rhonda Wells, welcome back. Carnival Cruise cheating me out of Jamaica for my December cruise. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, you can be grouchy tonight. It's okay. I'm sorry. Some people uh, get grouchy about Fauci. <laughs> you are rhyming our poet tonight, Art. You're good. And you... Grouchy, there aren't twice as many ladies' restroom. Right. Books of record time. Joanne's fabric. Hey, I accidentally wore my mask in my car for like two minutes, but I got a dirty look and it clued me in. <laughs> they don't want to show their frown. <laughs> I don't like when you buy box cutters. Okay. And you need a box cutters to open the pack. <laughs> Good one. I get grouchy when someone makes eye contact through the crack in the stall wall in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, Joanne's fabric. All right. I like it when the nurse walks you up to give you a sleeping pill. That's funny. You are on tonight, Rita. This is every comment is hilarious. An extra hour of life with Nance and laughing. I get grouchy when I hear of people who pray and run away with crosses. Oh, that never bothered me till yesterday. Monkey bread. Okay. Do you say colon grouchies? <laughs> colon grouchies. It's Joanne fabric, y'all. Get it right. Woohoo, I'm grouchy. <laughs> Pills. Joanne's fabric. I'm grouchy that we have a class tomorrow and we still have to finish a whole unit in our books. Dave, get to studying. Nas is distracting us. I'm sorry. All right, let me get it done. I get a grouchy when my shelty pup rings his potty bills at 2 a.m. so he can go bark at the falling leaves. Oh, yeah. You know, Delilah sometimes, but then again, every time she, she starts knocking on the cage, her crib, is because she needs to go, you know, she really has to go. There's something wrong with her. Guinness Book of Record Time. Let's go for it. Today is, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not aware of this, today is National Shawarma Day. If you haven't had shawarma, shawarma is like gyro. It's not gyro. Gyro is a Greek thing. 
shawarma is different. It's lamb or beef. And it's put on this big skewer and you let it heat up and then you cut it and you put tahini sauce on it. It's like uh, It's called tahini, which is sesame seed oil. You put on that and you put some pickles and you put some hot sauce and you put some uh, lemon, a little bit of parsley and uh, fresh onions and I guess I'm hungry and some yellow, this pepperoncinis and it's just, that's a good shawarma sandwich. Where can you get a good one? Uh, if you're in the West Coast, Anaheim, California, there's some good ones. If you're in the East Coast, there's a place called Mamoons in New York. And there's so many other places, but shawarma, get a beef shawarma. Zanko Chicken has the best. Zanko Chicken, it's a, a Rom Armenian place. They have them all over Los Angeles, Orange County, if you're in California. Zanko. All right. It's time for the Guinness Book of World Records. Um, the longest shawarma sandwich was made in Tyre. Tyre is in Lebanon. It's in the Bible. Tyre and Sidon. Those are Lebanese cities. Tyre just broke the Guinness World Record for the longest shawarma sandwich by rolling how many feet? Okay. And they broke other records, and it was great. And when they were done, they gave the food to this local Syrian refugees. They get to eat it. So anyway, and you can put garlic, fresh garlic, uh, minced garlic on the shawarma too. So how long was the sandwich that made it to the Guinness Book of Record? Over one foot, under 500 feet. Over one foot, under 500 feet. Let's say over 100, under 500. How about that? Over 100, under 500. Guinness book record time. Go to Hawaii instead. He's saying it's my party, and I'll go if I want to. I'll go if I want to. Go to Disneyland. There's plenty of women's restaurants there. No, E and Joanne's. That's true. Praying time. Prayer time? <gasps> It's 9.25. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Guys, I'm so sorry. I've been, I got carried away. Okay. You know what? Let's keep, I'm going to go longer. Let's just stay, stay a little bit. I'll give you 10 more minutes tonight because I, t I blew blah, 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 too much. Bad shawarma, bad karma. 311 for Amy. 250, 499, 235, for Debbie Malone, 126, 225, and 325. For Becky Attenberry, Bobby, 373, 499, and 421. Let's see, 250, 350, and 450 for Sarah. Amy, 252. I don't like when people jack their cars up with bricks. Someone's house is leaning. <laughs> 255, 316, and 418 for Dave. Amy said 104. Top it all off with a fudge sundae with a chair on top. Okay. I miss Zanko. I get their uh, their tomb down. They mix potato flakes into it instead of fresh. You're right. Uh, art, 499, 498, and 497. Is that like karma? I had some Cheetos. <laughs> grouchy about grouchy people. Glad you made it home safely, Michael. I don't like when people shake the milk cartons. It's homo homogenized old person already. Hey, I said I was a good distraction. <laughs> Home in Azusa. Back to food. Yes. So hungry again. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I went to school with a girl from Compton named Shawarma. <laughs> ah. Grouchy when people don't care one bit about inconveniencing me. Yeah. When my ring doorbell rings over and over and no one is there. Zanko has good shawarma. That's why when I say I think you need Jesus. <laughs> when my wife calls me out on an internationally known comedian show. <laughs> she did. She did. This is a good distraction. We're seeing double lines. 
Okay, let's see who else said. Bobby said 125, 225, 300. De Dolores, 119, 278, 419. Rita, 357, 444, 122. Catherine Allen, 375, 234, and 490. Yes, Nez rattles on and we get more time. What, what's the number range? 100 to 500. The rooster and Ruby would love some of that sharma. It's a big red commercial. Stay a little longer, kiss a little longer. 350, 450, and 375 for Frank. Matthew, 222, 334, 35, 373, 499, 421 for Bobby Ebert. Becky said 126, 225, 325. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's see. I know a person named Sharman. Don't squeeze her, she gets grouchy. <laughs> Didn't Volkswagen used to have a karma as Gia? No, it was a car <laughs> yeah. One mile, 153. Hummus, hummus, hummus. Okay, I made it to the top 20. Go through my files in my brains. You did. All right, let's give you the answer really quick. Ladies and gentlemen, did everyone bid? Are we sold? Are we done? All of you, 77, did you do your three guesses? Are you ready? Uh... Oh, wait, wait, this is changes things. This changes things, hold on, hold on. I need to find, there must be, okay, 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 let's see. You need to help me guys with the numbers for tonight because uh, it's location sold. So old, good choice. Ah, let's see. I'll here's the winning number, and I'll tell you who I think won. <sighs> oh, okay. The winning number is three hundred ninety-seven feet. Three hundred ninety-seven feet. We have two people who came up with three seventy-five, which was the closest which are Catherine Allen and Frank Poncho from Fresno. But then again, Dolores said 419, which is exactly the same difference. 375 to 397 is 22, and 397 to 419 is 22. So we have three winners tonight. And thank you, Naz, for being smart at math. Wow, let's put Naz's brain back on just to celebrate that moment. Okay, so this is a beautiful toilet paper that's going to go three ways. It's going to go to Louisiana. It's going to go to Fresno, California. And it's going to go back to Louisiana again. No, Catherine Allen. No, Catherine Allen is not in Louisiana. Catherine Allen is somewhere in California, right? Help me out, Kathy. Catherine. Okay, three winners. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, and now we get to the prayer time. Prayer time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please pray for my uncle. My uncle, he's 70, probably it's almost getting close to 80. He has dementia. And he's been in the hospital or in a home for a while. And now he got COVID. Even though he got vaccinated, he got COVID. So he's in the hospital again on feeding tubes and IVs. Could you please pray for him? I was planning to see him in two weeks when I go to Washington State. He lives in Kent, Washington. I was going to go see him, but now I can't see him. Because they said no one's supposed to see him for at least a month. Normally it's 14 days. They said, because of his situation, it's going to take longer to heal him. Anyway, keep him in pray prayer. Thank you so much. Anybody else needs prayer? Let's see. Congratulations. Praying for your uncle. Thank you so much. And spoken for Sarah, please. Prayer for your uncle. Dementia. Wow, so much. Praying for you all. Thank you, Dave. Congrats. 
More gigs for Nath. Thank you. In Kingman, Arizona. That's right, Catherine. I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's going Arizona, Louisiana, and California. Praying for Nath. Oh, you better get some TP off those cargo ships. <laughs> Congrats. Well, first time. Yes. Congratulations. And if I see you, I will give you your toilet paper. And people say, do you carry a toilet paper with you? Did you see how big the bathrooms in that church were? There were like 40 stalls. And every stall has two toilet paper dispensers. You'd think one of them would be easy to open. No. It took me a while. <laughs> Can you pray for forgiveness for me for stealing toilet paper? I deserve it. But then the guy stole my cross. So <laughs> stealing toilet paper is cheaper. And the church is not going to miss it. I mean, the guy in that stall might have a heart. I'm sorry, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> I did something horrible. <laughs> What if this guy have a urinary tract infection and he just needs toilet paper and he can't find it? I'm so horrible. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. We need to be serious and pray for people. Alrighty. Let's see. TP or not TP? That is the question. Keep my friend who had an ocular stroke and in prayer and for her son. Oh, that's right. It's still her son, his right eye is still to recover from it. And we will, Sarah. Oh, for Bobby, final ministry class. All right. We're praying for you, Bobby. Big bathrooms, yes, always. Praying for that, thank you. A new job for Let's see, for Bobby Ebert, new job, we'll be praying for that. Now that you're going to get your final ministry degree, we'll pray for a good job in ministry. Prayer for your uncle, thank you, Debbie. Prayers, pray for Bobby and me, final ministry class. Oh, both of you, tomorrow. Comedy show for well-versed comedy tomorrow. We're praying for that. Pray that my kidney function improves and stuff. We will, Beverly, we're praying for your kidney function. I'm praying, Uncle. All right, guys. Well, thank you for the show, Naz. Looks like we all needed that laughs. See you Monday. Yeah, see you Monday. Who's your guest on Tuesday? Comedian Johnny W. Comedian Johnny W. You could always sell it for a profit on eBay for the brought the Kirkland. Bought TP at Kirkland and re. All right, guys. Good night. Love you. Pray for James Memorial. We will. Thank you so much.